The Coast Guard recently released revised CG 2692 forms. The documents for reporting marine casualties, commercial diving casualties, or outer continental shelf related casualties. This revision was the result of a three year initiative to overhaul previous versions of the form, which have been largely unchanged for more than 40 years. With the new version, we've worked to streamline the data fields and decrease the burden of completing these forms. We will continue to strive to make reporting marine casualties easier and less time consuming. Our long-term vision is to create the means for casualty reporting to be entirely electronic and capable of being sent directly to the appropriate Coast Guard field unit based on the geographic location provided on the form. There are many changes to this new form that you will notice at first glance. First, there are now several addendums that will ease the burden of reporting incidents with multiple injuries, deaths, or barges involved. Additionally, the form can be entirely completed electronically, including using a digital signature. Owners and operators are encouraged to work with their local Coast Guard sectors to obtain the best and most up-to-date email addresses where they can electronically file the reports. In addition, the titles and labels of the revised forms have been amended to more closely correlate to the text and terms found in U.S. statutory and regulatory language. Also, the generic catch-all data fields on the previous form have been replaced with unique fields for specific data required by statute or regulation. Lastly, notice that information requested on the forms is primarily restricted to that required by regulation, removing superfluous data fields. This form reduces the burden upon those reporting casualties by decreasing the overall number of fields required to be entered. For example, for a single vessel marine casualty, the old form required 75 data items, while the revised form only requires 40. If the incident involves one or more personnel casualties, there are only 14 additional data items to enter, as opposed to 25 on the old form. If the incident involves one or more barges, there are only 17 additional data items to include, as opposed to 20 to 35 on the old form. To help illustrate the ease of these new forms, let's take a look at what filling out this revised form would look like. Section 1 covers the vessel or facility information. Block 9 is specifically set aside for additional data needed from towing vessels reporting casualties. Section 2 covers the reasons for submitting the form. You may check any areas that apply to the casualty being reported. The sections are separated for marine casualty, commercial diving casualty, or an OCS-related casualty. Section 3 covers information of any and all associated parties, such as the owner of the vessel, the master or person in charge, or the diving supervisor. Section 4 covers all information related to the casualty. This includes the estimated damage costs, location of the incident, and the casualty description. Section 5 covers the information from the person who's submitting the form. As discussed earlier, the form may be signed digitally, alleviating the need to print the forms, manually sign them, and fax or scan and email them to the Coast Guard. Our hope is that the revised forms will lessen the burden of reporting marine diving, or OCS-related casualties. If you have questions, comments, or feedback on the form, please feel free to reach out to us. For more information on Coast Guard regulatory updates, you can also follow our blog, Maritime Commons, and you can find us on Twitter at Maritime Commons. <laughs>